In this video, we will talk about some of the elements that we encounter in any transaction or investment. So some of the things we encounter will begin with the uh, principal, right? So the principal is basically uh, what you have, the amount of money that you have um, initially. So it's the initial initial cash and then we have the interest rate which is pretty self-explanatory it's measured in percentage and this pretty much tells us um, the cost the cost of the money right so the cost of the money is determined by your interest rate so the interest period determines how frequently how frequently you pay um, your interest or how frequently your interest is calculated. How frequently your interest is calculated so principal interest interest period and what we have so just a little bit about the interest period on in our other in our previous example we took the period of one year right so this is zero this is one year now it was at let's say six percent sometimes you're given three or four periods so maybe you've heard uh, quarterly quarterly or semi annually those are what we call periods so one two three four we have four periods here the six percent we could actually divide into 1.5 percent right so these would be your period one, two, three, four. We'll get uh, we'll get into detail about this later on, but that's basically what an interest period is. So our next one is number of interest period, and that's essentially how many periods are there in one year so in the one year duration right how many specified length of time are there well there's one specified length of time two three and four so basically it mm, the number of periods is basically it takes your duration and divides it into number of specified length of time then we have a plan for receipts plan for receipts or disbursements disbursements and that's basically when you buy a car you need to make a plan right like a four-year lease when you buy a car on a lease you have to make a plan to pay right receipt or uh, disperse right your money so four hundred dollars a month on a car this would be considered a plan for receipts and it basically shows a particular cash flow pattern over a specified length of time so in this case going back to this example in one year 
if it was mm, at the end we started with a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars and we are left with a hundred and six at the end of one year how much money did you gain what is the plan right so it'd probably be one dollar fifty cents um per specified length of time so so in each specified length of time we have a dollar fifty so plan for receipts or uh, disbursements it basically it it basically yields a particular cash flow pattern so the pattern pattern here is that you're paying one dollar fifty every specified length of time or every period so it yields a cash flow pattern then we have our future amount of money which is usually called the future value so future amount of money that's basically the cumulative effects of the interest rate over a number of interest periods so if this is your present value which is at zero what you have right now a hundred dollars PV is equal to a hundred dollars what is the future amount of money at a specific period so in the third period what is the future amount of money you have to include all your interest and your present value to determine your future amount of money so future amount of money is basically the cumulative effects of both the interest rate and the present value so cumulative effects of interest cumulative effects of interest over a certain number of periods and that's all it is now I'm going to copy and paste a table of variables and their meanings and explain it and then we'll do some examples to really understand what all of this really means